Humans have needed horses for many things in the past and still use them today, but with technology advancing, we mainly use them for entertainment. So throughout history, we of course bred many different types. Horses have been around for a long time and humans began domesticating horses around 4000 BC. With that much time, there are now around 150 breeds of horses. Today, we'll be talking about some of the most impressive ones. These horses don't horse around, that's for sure. From the Mongolian steppe to the Icelandic horse, here are the 15 most incredible horse breeds in the world. Frederick the Great Frederick the Great, also known as the world's most gorgeous horse, turns heads wherever he goes. One look at the horse makes it obvious as to why he's known as the most beautiful horse in the world. Both in the Netherlands, he was imported to the United States when he was six years old. Now he lives on a farm in the Ozark Mountains of Arkansas. He's a pure-blood Frisian stallion, which is known as one of the best-looking horse breeds. The now 19-year-old stallion first rose to stardom back in 2016 when people began sharing photos of him. Frederick's owner, Stacy Nazario, says that the horse's character fits his noble looks well saying he's a sweet one and very gentle. And to top it all off, he's extremely photogenic and is becoming more and more famous each day. Like many people, Frederick the Great has a very intensive beauty routine. It normally takes about three hours. Well, this horse has more patience than some of us, that's for sure. This horse was even on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. So this breed takes the prize for the most elegant. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Bashkir Curly This breed has something just a bit more than looks going for it. Its distinctive curly coat makes them stand out as the most unique horse of all and definitely in the running for the cutest breed. While you may be able to recognize one by its curly coat, let's find out more about this fascinating breed. The Bashkir Curly Horse is a breed of domestic horse native to North America. Their unique curls enable them to endure even the harshest winters. The Curlies are known for their calm, intelligent, and friendly personalities. They're also not very hard to train. The Curlies are known to love being around people, so no need to be scared to pet one of these. The Curlies are typically not flighty. They tend to do more reasoning than most breeds. They're very reliable and are also known to be hardworking. If you love horses but are allergic, these curly horses are known for being hypoallergenic. Researchers believe it's due to a missing protein in the horse's hair. This theory has not been proven, however, and research is ongoing. One of the issues with the curly coat is some of them have an extreme coat that sheds out nearly bald in the summer. This is something some people may find unappealing. The Bashkir Curly is suitable for western riding, reining, barrel racing, eventing, and driving. They excel as trail and pack horses and in endurance and competitive trail rides. It's also interesting to see how many uses a horse has. This one is pretty impressive. This horse is not as flashy as others, but its special features make it one you can't forget. <laughs> Black Forest The Black Forest sounds like a horror film, but these are far from scary. Until a few years ago, the magnificent Black Forest horse was barely known about now interest is growing in this light drought horse from Germany. Strong enough to work in forestry and farming, yet looks good enough to create some buzz in the show ring, their versatility is inspiring more people to get one of these horses. Since these horses are still fairly rare, breeders who sell a black forest horse are dedicated to maintaining the quality of the breed, which they call the pearls of the black forest. The horse is certainly one of the breeds that you can respect. It's characterized by a golden mane that pops against the rich chestnut color of their coat. Get ready to fall in love with this light draft breed that's changed over centuries. The Black Forest Horse is known for its great temperament and beautiful movement. Its long strided trot makes it ideal not only for driving but also for riding. This breed tends to be agreeable and well-tempered, so it's well suited for many different riders. The breed was carefully preserved and a stud book was established in 1896. By 1981, the horse's numbers were declining, since evolving machinery and transportation models decreased the demand for these horses. Today, about 700 Black Forest horses are known to exist. Marwari 
If you're ever lucky enough to see a Marwari horse in person, the first thing that you'll probably notice about this unique breed is its ears. With ears so curved that the tips touch, this horse has a special appearance. This breed's history spans multiple centuries, and today, it remains a rare but prized horse. They have become one of the most popular breeds of horses across the world because of their unique appearance, their intelligence, and their strength. There's one thing that horse breeders may not always tell people about the Marori is that it's not always considered a horse. These are a little rare in India, but are very rare in the rest of the world. The main reason for this is because these horses have been banned for export for most of their existence. Between the years 2000 and 2006, the horse was legal for export. However, only a few were sent out of the country during these years, so breeding outside of India is very uncommon. Marwari are tough, hardy desert horses that were initially bred for war. That means they're well adapted to survive in difficult situations. They can endure tough weather, long rides, and can make do without a lot of support. Today, these horses are often used for endurance riding and competitive riding. Because of their origins as war horses, they're naturally competitive and are great for competing. There are a lot of horse breeds out there, and each one has its own unique characteristics. More warry horses are a particular interest because of their interesting history, the breeding practices applied to the breed, and their unique appearance. <laughs> Nabstrooper. This horse can look like a Dalmatian, so if you had 101 of these, you could make a movie, the 101 Nabstroopers, which is a pretty catchy title. The sad part about this breed, though, is that today, there are only around 600 in existence, although the breed is very popular. They're used for all sorts of general riding and are successful in dressage, eventing, and show jumping. They're also used as carriage horses thanks to their movement and special coloring. This horse is best known for its spots and exhibits coat patterns ranging from solid to full leopard spotting and everything in between. There's a lot of variation in the size and conformation of these horses depending on the individual horse's bloodlines. This horse was enlisted as a war mount although its distinctive leopard spotting made it an easy target for enemy snipers. So, it's good they stopped doing that because why would you want to be an open target? They became popular as a working agricultural animal and also proved their worth in the show ring. The breed was first established in 1812 in Denmark. A chestnut mare with leopard complex blanket markings was bred to produce a colt with spotting. The mare and her son were each bred to many other horses, producing many offspring and spotting and establishing the Nabstrooper as a breed. <laughs> Gypsy Vanner Like some fantasy creature of legend or a magical steed from a fairy tale come to life, so the Gypsy Vanner horse seems. Its massive amount of power and presence made unintimidating by the gentleness of its nature. Its abundance of flowing mane, tail, and feathers make it a breed that attracts fans wherever it goes. Known for their great temperaments and recognized for their beautiful feathering and alluring coats, these horses are quickly growing in popularity. Today, these horses may have been raised to pull caravans, but they also make great riding horses too. With their calm nature, gypsy vanners can be well paired with children, as well as with beginner and advanced adult riders. A relatively new breed in North America, the history of the Gypsy Vanner is as romantic as its appearance. The story begins with the Romani people of Great Britain and Ireland and their desire to breed a horse that fits their vision of the ideal caravan horse to suit their nomad life. This horse had to possess the physical strength to pull the heavy wagons that function as portable houses, that function as portable houses, the hardiness to endure life on the road without shelter or feed beyond whatever patches of gray were available and even their temperament allowed them to be safely handled, even by children. So, if anyone was trying to ride a horse for the first time, this would be a good breed for that. Have you guys ever ridden a horse? Let us know in the comments. Icelandic Horse The Icelandic horse is a token of the Icelandic nation and its pride and joy. The modern steeds are ancestors of the first Viking horses that arrived with settlers between 860 and 935 CE. This horse has been through many ice ages, Viking battles, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions. Today, you'll find these colorful animals in meadows and on horse farms in Iceland. The gorgeous Icelandic horse comes in over 40 colors and 100 various patterns. There are special words in the Icelandic language for each and every one. Sometimes the horse even changes color through its lifespan. The horse's physical excellence is far from the only reason why it's so adored by the Icelandic people. The personality of Icelandic horses is also widely celebrated because of their spirited but gentle temperament in particular. 
Since they've never had any predators in their natural environment, they're not easily spooked, making them very approachable and friendly. Thanks to strict laws, the Icelandic horse remains a pure breed and due to its geographical location, the horse is very important to the Icelandic spirit and has for centuries played an important role for the nation. Today, this is as true as ever as it opens up a world of adventure and companionship for anyone who looks for it, forging a friendship that the Icelandic people try to seek. <laughs> Clydesdale The Clydesdale horse is the most prominent breed worldwide for its beauty, gentleness, and serene nature. They were the first large, durable, and high draft horses to emerge from draft horses in Scotland. They were thought to be very endangered, but with all the efforts made to save this amazing breed, they're no longer endangered. They can be seen in the United States, Canada, Great Britain, and Australia. They have feathering that is the hair around the horse's hooves and ankles. In the history of this horse breed, it's always had this special hair. It's considered that this attribute was evolved or developed naturally for the horse to cope with the extreme winter temperature in Scotland. Clydesdales are mostly used as draft horses. They're used in agriculture and logging, as well as driving. As well as being used as draft horses, Clydesdales can be ridden and are often shown in the saddle. Clydesdales are considered the heavy haulers of the horse world because they were bred for work and not for fun but they can also be riding horses. You won't see one on the dressage team anytime. That would be like driving a tractor around the ring. <laughs> Mongolian Steppe Horses This horse even has a quote that was inspired by it. It's easy to conquer the world from the back of a horse. Mongolian horses carried the all-conquering Mongol warriors across half the world. They're sturdy, fearless, wild, and very tough. They're revered in Mongolian culture and have changed very little over the centuries, remaining virtually free from human interference. Mongolian horses are valued for their milk, wheat, and hair. In the summer, Mars are milked six times a day. Once every two hours, a mare produces an average of 50 grams of milk each time, with a yearly production of 300 kilograms. The milk is used to make the fermented drinks of Mongolia. Horse meat is considered the healthiest, most delicious kind of meat in Mongolia. Each 270 kilogram horse has about 105 kilograms of meat. The horse's hair can be used for several products, including rope, fiddle strings, and a variety of ornaments. Horse feces are used for camp fuel. Mongolia remains one of the last places on earth where the relationship between man and horse is symbiotic. To the nomadic Mongolians, the horses are an essential part of their culture. <laughs> Frisian If you love horses, this next breed, many people believe that few things in this world are more majestic than the pure black Frisian in motion. This breed is synonymous with legends and folklore. When you imagine the knight on this horse is often the Frisian that comes to mind. This horse has been around for centuries. There are historical documents that mention the praise the breed from all over Europe beginning in the 1200s. Hungarian King Louis II is said to have ridden one into battle. They're elegant, graceful, and powerful, which was good for knights. The Frisian cheese is a special carriage that was developed in Friesland to be pulled in the 18th century. The carts are very detailed and must have wheels that are one and a half meters or higher. A male driver would accompany a female passenger who rides on the right in 18th century clothes. Every cart must be unique. No two are ever the same. You know this breed must be incredible if they even get their own unique carriage. <laughs> Arabian The Arabian horse is one of the most highly valued horse breeds in the world, known for its special physical and temperamental characteristics. With their delicately dished face and beautiful sound body, they're revered by many for their unique and distinguishing looks. Arabians are well known for their people-centric nature and are one of the most loyal and loving horse breeds. Young Arabians are capable of far more than this as they're very intelligent and versatile, ready to adapt to many different situations. They're one of the oldest horse breeds to walk the course of the earth. Archaeological evidence suggests that the horse dates back over 5,000 years in the Middle East. Regardless of origin, climate and culture ultimately created this horse. The desert environment required a domesticated horse to cooperate with humans to survive. Humans were the only providers of food and water and this breed was the perfect match for this environment. Many beginner riders also tend to choose Arabians as their first horse as it allows them to begin their riding journey with a breed that's understanding towards the rider. Big Jake The tallest recorded living horse is Big Jake a nine-year-old Belgian gelding horse who measured around six feet 10 inches tall and weighed around 2,600 pounds without shoes. Big Jake was measured three times with the same measurement recorded each time. 
He's owned by Smoky Hollow Farms, of which Jerry Gilbert is the manager. Since achieving the Guinness World Record title eight years ago, hundreds of people have flocked to the farm in Wisconsin to see the amazing steed with their own eyes. Now 17, Big Jake lives a life of relaxation in his big custom foot stable, greeting visitors at events and helping raise money for the Ronald McDonald House charity. The only horse ever on record to be taller than Big Jake was a Shire gelding named Samson. Samson was born in 1846 and measured a whopping 7 feet 2.2 inches tall. Big Jake eats two full buckets of grain and a bale of hay every day and stays in shape by pulling his weight at a farmhouse. Big Jake sadly passed away in July of 2021, with Gilbert's wife stating that the horse passed that month but declining to give an exact date. The horse was hailed as a gentle giant and its stall is going to be kept empty as a memorial. <laughs> Mustang The Mustang is a free-roaming horse of the western United States, descended from horses brought to the Americas by the Spanish. Mustangs are often referred to as wild horses, but because they're descended from one domesticated animal, they're actually feral horses. Mustangs can be a wide variety of different colors and their coats show the entire range of colors found in all horses. Normally, they're bay, which is a reddish brown, which is a chestnut color. They can also have a variety of patches, spots, and stripes. Mustang horses are known for having a wild nature but they can be tamed and ridden like other horses. However, this will take longer if they're taken directly from the wild rather than bred in captivity, and they're not used to being around people. There are currently more than 70,000 free-roaming Mustangs in the United States. Mustang numbers declined dramatically in the 20th century as the horses were killed and captured for a variety of reasons, including for humans and dog food. You'd think the famous Ford Mustang car was named after this horse, but surprisingly, it's not. <laughs> Lipizzaner The world-famous white Lipizzaner stallions from the Spanish Riding School in Vienna are spectacular to see, horse person or not. For many, these stallions are the first introduction to the world of dressage, which is a special horse competition. The magic and beauty of the stallions performing create an allure that wins the hearts and minds of people around the world. They have a very colorful and interesting history. They became nearly extinct during World War II. But because of their impressive performances, General Patton placed the horses under the protection of the United States until the end of the war, with only 250 surviving. Today, the breeding of these are highly concentrated at a few farms and registration is highly selective. These horses are known for their talent as dressage horses. They're not the easiest horses to work with, but when you succeed, they're yours. Their loyalty is unmatched. Even though they do not have the biggest gates in the dressage world today, they apparently are fun to work with because of the challenge of understanding their special personalities. They can act like a cunning pony or a royal horse, and finding how to go from understanding one to the other is what makes working with them distinct and unique. Akal Teki The striking Akal Teki breed has overcome many challenges during its 3,000-year history, but its influence on other horse breeds cannot be denied. Now the ancient breed is returning to fame with its athleticism, stamina, speed, agility, and amazing movement winning many people's respect. As one of the rarest horse breeds in the world, most people only know them for their stunningly sleek coats. This beautiful feature gives them a metallic sheen, but there's more to this horse breed than their good looks. Incredibly fast and with impressive endurance, they're a prime example of power and grace. Today, there are less than 7,000 of them left in the world. The good thing is that several breed groups and organizations are working to save these special animals. Their ability to travel long distances at high speeds without tiring is what first caught people's attention. In 1935, a group of Turkmen riders rode 2,500 miles in 84 days. This trip included a three-day, 235-mile crossing of a desert without water. Any other breed of horse wouldn't have survived. Would you try to go 2,500 miles on a horse in a brutally hot desert in 84 days? Let us know down below. We hope you learned something cool about these amazing horse breeds. What breed did you think was the most interesting? Which was the most alluring? You can let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome Missing Files content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.